Oh, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to a reality of Re Azzy Aro. I'm turning on episode seven of season three. So let me just boom comments section. You already know how it goes. Um, I only took a little cursory glance, a little, a little superficial skim, um, because I'm scared of the depths. I'm scared of what these say. So I've the ones I've liked are the only ones I've actually read. Um, most important thing, two things, two things, two important things. Um, Al. Uh, is one and then the second is a line I missed uh, somewhere where the reason that Amelia is not immediately jumping out the window and maybe like trying to ice spear Regulus and making a bunch of moves is because she was told that if she tries to leave the city will be flooded which makes a lot of sense was that are y'all referring to the y'all might be referring to the line where, where they were talking about like the marriage ceremony the tome of wisdom and the artificial spirit and that, how that was like part of their demands. Is that kind of what y'all are referring to? Because I remember that. I just didn't really think about that. Anyways. Um, but yeah. The thing though. The thing though. It's not even. It's like. I still. I, okay. So I absolutely still respect Amelia in the same way. Because even. She's not like immediately running away. Which is fine. But she's still making moves. Right. It's. It, I don't even care about her like running away or escaping the ceremony. As much as I care about her just trying to make moves. You know. So. Either way, in the last episode, she was doing the, the ice walk and got to the, the mirror, the metia, you know, and all of that. So I'm happy with her actions nonetheless, right? Um, but yeah. But also, like, I mean, this comment right here is really good. Um, this, com this confirms that you hate Priestella and want to see the city drowned. But like, low-key, they are already in the flood shelters. Like, if you're going to have a city that can flood, like, that fast then you're kind of asking to get flooded and drowned a little bit. But also, it's not even about that. If you have a, if you have a city that can flood and you have a bunch of flood, like, like, uh, like a bunch of shelters that are flood proof, then yeah, flood the city. Like, like there was already some flooding. And if people like, I assume most people are in the shelters right now. So how bad would it really be if the city flooded more? That's just me though. That's just me personally. Um, but yeah, this is, so this is pretty much where I'm at though. Best Amelia can do right now is snoop around and gather intelligence. Agreed. Um, and I like that. Um, this, this is cool. Uh, Krush told, Krush is told, or like, uh, you remember back in season two where there was that Amelia future trial and there was a bunch of, I assume you're talking about the part where it was like a bunch of different lines being spat and it was like really overwhelming. Um, there's a line that was like, under no circumstances shall I be killed by something as nonsensical as a curse. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I don't think the curse on her face, if we're going to call it a curse, I don't even know if we should call the dragon's blood a curse or not. Um, but let's say we're calling it a curse. Maybe they said something that would lead us to assume that. Uh, and the thing, like, I don't think it's going to kill her. I really don't. I think it's more so going to make her like, like she's got this crazy look on her face. I more so think it's going to do something like that. Um, where it's just going to make her like ugly, you know, uh, as opposed to a corpse, right? Um, and then ow. Uh, so the thing about Al, uh, I, so I agree with this person agreeing with me. Shout out the comments. Personally, I agree with the idea that Al opened the water gate temporarily and caused a flood. Um, but then there was a, there was a good point here about how, however, it did ser seemingly serve to break up the fight with Capella and force Capella to abandon the government building in order to reinforce her tower, um, which gave Super's group the opportunity to retake the government building in the Metia, right? And so... There is a world where Al decided to open the water gate on his own at the risk of the town, but still trying to help the group. That is a possibility. Um, and so that would be like the idea of like, maybe like, like think about it, like opening the water gate, n almost, I think nobody in Subaru's group would be like down with that because it would risk the town too much. But if it's the right move to make in order to like better the better Subaru's group ability to win, right? If it's like a good strategic move to make, even if it risks a lot of the populace, then maybe Al was just like, oh, I'll just do, go do this on my own. But the thing is, Al literally was on the Metia like telephone that uh, Capella was using. Like, how is he in the same room? that fast. It was literally like two minutes, you know, two minute gap between Capella's on the phone and then Al's on the phone. And he's just like, oh, hello. It's not like he's like sneaking around or some shit. So it really like makes me think that Capella and Al, like, like how, what did Al sneak in the room and Capella left her phone on the table or did like Capella just walk out and then was like, oh, hey, Al. And then Al was like, what's up Capella? And then he just walks in, you know, like 
how exactly did that all happen? He doesn't exactly strike me as like the stealthiest boy in the world, you know, with his like bucket on his head and giant muscles. So I don't know. I really don't, I don't trust Al, um, but I'm also not very certain that he is just a, like simply part of the witch cult. Um, I think there's like, I think he's like a, like a third party situation, but I don't even know exactly which third party he would be like associated with. But yeah. Anyways, um, that was kind of the big things from this. <laughs> All oh shit, wrong number. I mean, okay. That, that the thing is, that's one. That's let me pull up the last episode just so I can skim it while we're um while I'm saying this last point. The thing about the 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 metias are they are they like telephones where they can connect to each other, or are they like walkie talkies that are bound to each other? You know. Is that how walkie talkies even work? Are they like sending stones where they can only talk to each other? Or are they like, um, are they like, can they talk, can one of those things talk to any of those things, right? I have, I've assumed up to this point that they can only talk with the one they're like connected to. That it's just a one way thing that two things are connected to, right? That's been my assumption. Um, but yeah, otherwise in this episode, big thing, or in the last episode, big things, I don't, um, home, uh, home girl freaking big boobies with the flame sword, with the yang sword, uh, showed it off a bit. Uh, the sword, not her boobies. Uh, um, freaking, let me pull up my notes. You can see me floundering with the names. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What is this girl's name? L Liliana? Liliana. Yeah, Liliana. Liliana played a little bit of a tune to, to counteract the wrath juice, the wrath authority that's like going everywhere. Um... The wives are just doing their thing. They've been kind of, they're, they're not having a great time personally. And we met up with the squad. Uh, Subaru spat some bars about how like, it's the only people he really cares about, or like the people that he feels the most about saving are like civilians that aren't part of the battle, but like soldiers or like guards are like a different story. Um, and then we also kind of talked a little bit about the uh, wisdom and the artificial spirits. That's the most important stuff. And then of course there was the owl thing at the end. Which he literally, like, like, look at this scene, bro. Oh, someone picked up. I'm trying to read into that. I don't even know how to read into that, though. That's, we don't even get anything. That's literally the end. Oh, my goodness. Al, I hate how I have, like, I really think you're, uh, like, you've tricked us and that you're not on our side. But I also like think there's a chance that you are still on our side and this is just a fake out. And I'm gonna be so pissed if it's a fake out. If he's just like, oh yeah, I'm on your side. I just snuck in. That's gonna be so lame. Compared to like, like you can't hit me on a after credit scene cliffhanger and then just have it not be a plot point, you know? Where it's just that he's in that location. That that would be such a that'd be such a a letdown, you know, of of potential juice. But yeah, okay. Episode seven. This one's the newest hero and the oldest hero. Um, newest hero, Subaru, oldest hero, me. I'm the oldest hero. Pink cubed, react Andy. Anyways, episode seven, let's get going in. A three, a two, a one, bang. <laughs> oh, wow, we're getting an Al special. Oh, wait, no, he literally... Wait, this doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, okay, maybe it's a bunch of radios then that are all connected to each other. Because he's killing a bunch of witch cultists. Wait, this ain't what I heard. Wait, no, he's probably fine then. No, not a happy coincidence. Wait, no. Oh, okay. I was just saying, it's okay. Wait. Okay. So he just grabbed some random one off of some random witch cultist. No, bro. Okay, well that does that does tell us that they're all connected to each other. There's a bunch of them that are connected, which is not what I assumed, but that's better to know. Better to know. What? Yeah. Ow! What are you yammering about? That is, no, bad mentality.
Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Good mentality. Ow, why are you in some random location? I thought you were going to go try to find Priscilla. Maybe this was him trying to go find Priscilla. Oh my goodness, you're so dense. <laughs> you're night charming. Oh wait, it's because she probably doesn't understand that like line because it's from Japan or something. Maybe that's the idea there. Funny, funny. Traitor Al is dead. No, I wanted Traitor Al. Ah! I wanted him to betray us. Because you're the goat, Amelia Locken. Okay, that question is a... <laughs> Why am I so confident? That's a crazy question to ask yourself. Hey, we're actually getting the OP. We never did the OP. Okay, okay. Oh, Al. Okay, well... Hmm... It's really funny because if he picked up the if he like picked up the phone two minutes earlier, then then he would have um met he would have seen Capella instead or like Regulus right he would have just joined their Zoom call instead right like I assume there's only one channel that you're ever a part of, so it's it is an incredible coincidence that the time that Amelia opens it is the time that Al opens it, which is also the time that no one from the Witch Cult opens it right. Because I assume that if anyone else that has one of those things opened it at that time, that they would have... Sorry. That they would have um, joined the conversation. But how would that even work? Because you only see one person in the face of it. So, like, can three people join a call at a time? That's why I assumed it was a one-way thing. Is because it's not like... Like, it's, it's like one thing. It's not, it's not like a computer screen that can, like... I don't know. Because you see, like, five people in there. Give me the Zoom call. Can I see the Zoom call? Not Al saying, you're a damsel in distress, Amelia. Al, shut up. She's not a, she doesn't have to be. She's making moves, though. She's fine. Okay. Ooh. Super, you need to spit some bars right now. Okay, Al, what's up? So who flooded the city? Maybe it was still him. Because that's still an unknown. Where's his left arm? Am I tripping? <laughs> Give me a hug. Yeah. Bro, he's he's doing the jump the jump hug. He's got his legs wrapped around him. <laughs> oh Garfield. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Bro is giving the monkey hug. He's got the dragon leg now. Oh, do you want to sit too? Sorry, my bad. I feel like it's gonna cut to her doing something reckless. Oh, she's repairing her body double. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Amelia, it is not worth it. <laughs> it's not. That was me! I'm just... <laughs> Wait, is this wife kind of chill with it? Ooh. Ooh. 
Mm, that's sad. Wait, has Al never had a left arm? <laughs> Wait, I'm tripping right now. What is going on with him? All right, nobody's commented on it, so surely I'm just dumb and he's all never had one, and I'm just now kind of thinking about it. All right, shut up. Everybody shut up. Oh, the, the little monsters are eating everyone. Oh, at least they're safe, the two kids. Garfield's like half half siblings. So we gotta spit bars that's gonna make everybody feel better. That's the move here. Yep. All right, Super, what's the line? What's the line? Who's gonna spit the bars though? So who was at the control tower? Oh, sure, and then at this case, surely it's not all because all's there, and he, why would he not? Oh. Yeah, okay, why are we being given... Okay, why are we be being given these opportunities? Okay. Al? Wait, Al? Okay, spit something now. You just think they're overconfident, really? Hmm. I don't know about that. Cause you don't open like why else would you open? They open the water gate. That seemed to like very specifically make them move. So that's like, I don't know. But I can't. I can't speak to people's hearts. We need Natsuki Subaru to do it. That's you, brother! That's you! Yeah, bring that energy. She is in no condition. <laughs> she is... In no condition. <laughs> Super, it's you! Oh my goodness, he's gonna drive me crazy. What? Garfield, Garfield, what about you? Uh, oh, what about you? We'll go rescue Amelia, what about her? <laughs> Super, it's you! He's gotta be like, I killed Beetle Goose. I killed the White Whale. He's literally doing that right now. 
Exactly. Thank you, Garfield. Yeah, dummy. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm Garfield right now. Super, we will rally behind you. You're my goat. Reinhardt, you know what? I, I think that's fair too. Reinhardt could do it too. Because he's that guy. But Super's also that guy. Super's about to give a crazy speech. At the end, he's going to say, Victory! And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be happy too. It's gonna work. It's gonna hit. Look at him. He's man. This is such a throwback. He was kind of goaded in this scene though. Subaru with the uh, dude, him, him, him casting Shamak there is like my favorite, one of my favorite scenes, bro. your booty over there. Look, if you fumble the speech, just kill yourself and redo it. <laughs> nah, don't do that. But like... It's like the same thing he said with Amelia of like, you're like, you're the damsel in distress, don't sweat it. Yeah, let me just do a two minute broadcast that I'm on it. That's me personally, but okay. Heroic delusion? What is up with Al today, bro? Yeah, and I'm the and I'm the GOAT. He's just he's just like I guess he's properly saying like you know what you're really doing here, you know? But like yeah, Subaru's kind of been that guy before. He's done this, but okay, I understand what you're doing here, but Super is that guy. Super is that guy. It's, it's never been just him. Literally episode one. Good callback. Literally episode one. It's been that. He has died for other people so many times. My goat. Man, that scene is so crazy, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, he, it's my guy. I was like, it's just some average guy. Not anymore, bro. He ain't been just some average guy from Japan for a long time, man. Exactly. Man, Garfield is fanboying, but I respect it. So get your booty over there. Yes. 
oh, you can't exactly get rid of that later, but that's fine. More influence? Well said. Yeah. It's so funny, dude, that, like, they're, like, trying to, like, like, he's gonna be a hero now. This is a big change. Bro, he's been a hero. You're not gonna flub. You'll be fine. You know what I mean, though? Me and Julius both fixing our hair at the same time. I am Julius for for. I get it, though, Al. I get it. You're gonna walk away without saying a word? This guy ain't got, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Al's energy ain't my energy right now. That's all I'll say. He's, okay, he's sitting down, he's not leaving. All right, that's slightly better. Hello, hello, is this thing on? I'll never be tempted to hope ever again. Okay. Okay. I knew he'd do some goofy ah uh, ah uh, beginning. I knew he was gonna do something like that. That is the most super thing I could think of. I knew it, dude. He's doing a mic test, this guy. <laughs> Cause how are you supposed to be scared when this guy is just like doing this, you know? It's really funny, like, somebody's probably getting mauled to death right now, and the last thing they're hearing is Subaru <laughs> doing a mic test. Ah! Ah! Mic test! Mic test! Uh. That guy kind of chill with it, even with a busted leg. <laughs> Liliana. Oh, what is going on there? Okay. I'm one of you. All right, he's airing his insecurities into the mic. Good start. But it is genuine. So he's, it's a good buildup. He'll get there. <laughs> he'll get there. Guy, he will get there. <laughs> Sis, this isn't very inspiring. <laughs> And yet, just wait, he's gonna say it. Right here, right here. Even so. That's what we needed. We need the even so. Oh, 
Mmm, that's a good, I like that. That's a good sentiment. Yeah, he's like very, he's trying to break the wrath authority kind of specific, bro. <laughs> Aww. Oh, oh, that's good. The white. Okay. I like that. That's good specifically, bro. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I'm scared we're gonna get jumped mid broadcast because the roof's not there, but that's okay. We'll be okay. <laughs> Capella's just flying in. <laughs> Where is Reinhardt right now? I need him to go kill someone. All right. Ooh, Cruz is waking up. <laughs> yeah, if you're not capable, then don't do it, but... Fight against, like, the despair. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Random woman, my goat. No Subaru. Yeah, all the random people that he can't even hear them. Yeah. Yo, is she jumping out the? What is she doing? Oh, the city's about to get flooded. That's okay. We take those. Ooh, two birds, two birds. Was that two birds? Because it's about relationships. Oh my goodness. Yeah, name drop. Damn right. No, you should have said the little girl user missed opportunity, Subaru. That would have really inspired them. That would have really gotten them to be ready to fight, bro. <laughs> bro, he actually is mad inspiring. I knew he would come around. He had to start, he had to put the bar low and then go all the way up, you know? So random stranger lady, come on. We we made moves or random wife. 170 whatever. I'm not giving up on you. Oh, Amelia. What are the archbishops doing right now though, bro? I'm scared. Oh.
That's so sad. They don't match up with reality though, low key. Because he can just kill us, but that's okay. Mmm. Okay. Okay. She's not she's not gonna risk anything yet. She's putting some faith in homeboy. Okay. <laughs> no, it was goaded! Come on! <laughs> uh It's so funny how he really started like, I'm weak and I'm insecure. <laughs> I'm pathetic, I suck. But it actually, little girl, you tricked those little girls is crazy, Ricardo. You can't be saying that, big dog. You can't be saying that. Help my boy out. Al, what are you? He must have like wanted to be a hero and then got burned for it. You know, I feel like there's got to be something going on because he's he's twice. He kind of told people to, to retract. All right, who's there? Auto! Thank you! I missed your ass, come on. All right, Auto, what's the play? You got a you got like a bag of cockroaches? Thank you, Reinhard. Finally, my goat. Now we can make some moves. Okay! Oh, is he the oldest hero? Oh, is Reinhardt the oldest hero and Subaru is the newest one? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, was that really a 30 minute episode? Wait, is that new? I feel like they don't usually... Whoa, they added an extra six minutes on that. They had to give the full speech. They had to give the full speech. Okay. Woo! Okay, ow! Ow, 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 ow. I don't mean it with disrespect, but twice you're telling people to like, like this is the time to lock in and make moves, you know? I'm 100% on the give the speech, make the moves side of the fence, you know? But he was like, what was he yammering about, man? He was literally like, you don't gotta be a hero. You're just an average guy. It's like, yeah, but like every every hero is an average guy. That's like the entire point, low key, you know? Like it's a, it's a massive ideal to like, own up to but like he's done it a million times i guess you don't know that but still i don't know him doing it twice is what's got me a little like bruh like what does he say here you're a damsel in distress right now you don't need to force yourself to do all this like i i, I kind of get what you mean where it's like you don't want her to put herself in harm's way because she's like not willing to accept help from others you know, but she has the perfect response, which is basically, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it easier so that the help could like get to me better. You know, like I'm trying to make my own moves, which ends up being important because her getting on the phone with him was literally from her, literally from her doing a move, you know? And then she gave him information that then he gave to Subaru. And so he's like, but seriously, don't pull any stunts, all right? Like I get that, but like, and then she ends up kind of agreeing with that at the end where she's like, Let's hold the ceremony where she's not going to make any, she's not pulling any stunts yet. You know, she's biding her time. Uh, so that's like a fine move to make. But the way he's phrasing it is just so like, Al, that ain't it, big dog, you know? And then like, Al, where was he? He was just, he just killed a bunch of randos. Also, okay, can I confirm for sure that he has never had his other arm? For some reason, I know y'all probably are making fun of me for that. It is what it is, y'all, all right? Let me cook, okay? That's... <sighs> Give me a shot of him in the OP here. I know I know. there's a shot of him in the OP without his... With, with... For some reason, that just... I noticed it today. Come on, I know it's like right here. <sighs> That's not helpful. Okay, in the ED? Is there... Is it in the ED? Can we see him with, with, with just the one... Or some or something. No, he's in the back. He's in the back with his head down. Okay, this is kind of sus already. I don't know what's going on with Al. Al's having a. Al is going through something. Okay, he's look at look at this. Everybody is looking ahead. Boom. 
boom, 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 boom. Even freaking Mimi down here is like poking her little, her little noggin up. Al is the only one not looking ahead. He's looking down. Bro, bro is, his mental is not here or something, okay? I don't know, I don't know exactly what's going on, but his mental is not in the right shape. And that is uh, not a good, not a good thing. That's what we call a bad thing, okay? Let me, I gotta find an episode where I can get a better look at him. Where, where, where has he been, man? Um, he's not in that. Oh my goodness. I'm literally gonna have to pull up a previous one because my thing with him I feel like there's a there's a couple things he could be going through right he could he could be like I, I feel like there's maybe an idea that like he Has been hoed for trying to make moves in the past Does that make sense? They're like he's wanted to make moves, but then but then it, it hasn't worked out So now he's like con he's like being like doomer, you know, I feel like he's being very doomer where move potentials are getting thrown up of like, hey, give a speech, be everybody's hero. And he's like trying to shut that down, you know? And then it's like, oh, save yourself. Don't just be a damsel in distress. And he's like, no, you are a damsel in distress, right? Oh yeah, he's never had his arm. How have I never really noticed that? What is, yeah, he has like the stitch across his thing. He's just always been chilling. That is so strange to me. Huh. I mean, okay, I, I would even attach that in. That like, he's been wounded and his face is probably all mucked up, you know? So he's definitely been hoed in his, in the past, in, in all his years here, he's been hoed, right? And so, yeah, I, I guess I wouldn't be surprised if um, that, that was kind of connected with him not uh, being like, yeah, let's go save the world. You know, like that's, that's not his energy as much uh, because specifically he's probably, tried to do something like that in the past and then like lost an arm for it or got his face mucked up for it or something like that. I mean, he literally is on Priscilla's side. Priscilla's not exactly the most like happy-go-lucky person in the camp, right? Um, but yeah, anyways, it's just, it's kind of that combined with the witch cult stuff is maybe just kind of sus of him. But like, I don't know exactly what, like what I'm supposed to be sus of. Because it does, like this line specifically where he says, but you can't expect an average everyday guy to carry all that. He's, I mean, he's very much referring to, Sub like, I think he's referring to Subaru being like from Japan. Like, he's not like some fantasy hero, you know? Um, he really, well, except he kind of is now. But originally, a year ago, he was just some guy, you know? And so Al is kind of seeing him in that light and like treating him in that kind of way, um, which is why he's trying to like, not let Subaru, I don't know, like, go, like, too much, it's almost like a lot of pride equals, like, a really big fall from grace, so he's trying to be like, are you sure you really want to do this? He's, like, pumping the brakes on, on heroism. That's what he's doing. He's pumping the brakes on heroism. Um, I can't and our bro here can't either, but I, I this is just, no, I, I hate this. Hate is a strong word. Al, I disagree. Yeah, why does he have to shoulder all that? It, he can, though. That's the thing. You, you, like, it, it comes across as him not knowing what he's talking about. That's, that's how I feel with Al right now. He, he's talking to, to, to Amelia, right? And he says, you're a damsel in distress right now. And she's literally saying, like, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to act tough. I'm just trying to, like, make it easier. I, I have no doubts. He, he's literally, like, he's, like, speaking to a brick wall because, like, he's, like, you're, you don't have to be acting all tough. And she's like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not acting tough. You know, and it's kind of the same thing over here where he's like, he's just an average guy. He doesn't have to shoulder all this. It's like, bro, you should have seen season one and season two. That's all he's been doing. All he does is shoulder things that he shouldn't have to shoulder. And so like, you're saying this, it's like, yeah, true. But like, and he, he shouldn't have to deal with all of this, but he's, he's been put into a horrible situation where he kind of has to, you know? And so you either, like, what's the alternative, Al? What's the alternative? You either rise up or you fall down. Damn, bro. No, but like, kind of actually, though, like, Al, what are, you, what are you trying to say? Like, just go focus on the last on saving Amelia? He's kind of saying, like, cut your losses, just go save Amelia, you know? Instead of trying to, like, save the whole town. But, like, I don't know, man. If he knew what I knew, I don't think he'd be saying this. Because of like return by death and shit, you know?
Just think of these damn those damn cultists as a passing storm. Getting involved only bring you more trouble. Yeah, I mean he's definitely speaking from experience, but I don't know. Does anybody feel does anybody look at all convinced by this, or does it just look like Al's yapping? I'm on team Al's just yapping. Because even Super is like immediately he's like. Yeah, yeah, that's the crazy thing, okay? And I'll, I'll get off this talking point soon, I swear. But literally, twice, Al was like, listen, you're the damsel in distress. Or, listen, you don't have to be the hero. Just focus on saving your girl. And then both times, his res the response he got was, I'm not a damsel in distress. I'm not even trying to act tough. I'm just trying to do my thing. And, and Super being like, you really think that? Like, I'm if a kid's gonna die, I'm gonna save the kid. Like, both times... It's not like it even really like got anywhere. He just immediately got shut down, right? Like immediately. Is you know? And he says like, "All right." Heroic delusion. He's just a doubter. You can't afford to to lose. You have to win. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. And that's, okay, I'm gonna, let me clarify something for you. Let me clarify for something for you all. I feel like he's worried about like, okay, you're gonna shoulder all this expectations, you're gonna do all this stuff, and then like, what if you fail though? Like, you are, the stakes are so high when you carry all that expectation, everything will be destroyed, you know? Like, have you ever heard of a martyr? Like, even if Subaru didn't have Return by Death, which is like, fair, but like, he has a really good track record of doing this kind of shit, slaying Beetle Goose, the white whale, you know? But let's say, let's say he, you're, you're genuinely worried that he will not be enough for the task. Sure, fair enough. Um, crazy thing though, like even if he tries and then fails, that's still inspiring in most cases, you know? Like, like martyrs are OP, like ideologically. Somebody that tries to like better the world and then dies for it is a really good way to get people riled up and want to come to their side because then they're like, that was our goat and you killed him. Now we're mad too. Now, we, now we have to carry the torch, you know? So carrying hope, shouldering expectations, leading everyone to the future, even if you fail, I don't know if you really can. Cause if you have genuine faith, as long as you aren't like, like, even if you're kind, I mean, even if you're kind of completely destroyed, it still kind of works, you know, even if you die trying. But then it's like everything he says, Super just has a perfect counter for it. Yeah, I don't know. Al just doesn't, it's not a good look for Al this episode. This was not a good look for Al because it just kind of comes across as him not knowing what he's talking about a little bit. The stakes are going to be higher. Then it's like, the, st the stakes can't get higher. The stakes have been higher. I literally got Satela in my soul, bro. What do you mean the stakes are gonna get higher? She's literally like the god Hitler of this world. And she's in my heart. Like, <laughs> she's grabbing my shit, bro. My heart. You know what I mean? Like, and Super literally flashbacks to episode one. Like, like it's been like this, bro. <laughs> I just, your loss ain't gonna be just your loss anymore. No shit! When has your loss ever only been your loss, Al? Huh? You're literally Priscilla's knight. Like, your loss is Priscilla's loss. Like, that, you're literally in a knight code. You're talking to Subaru, who is Amelia's knight. And I guess he kind of means, like, your loss. Like, I guess in his your, you're including the person you're, you, like, love. Probably, because he kind of has to be. Because he's talking to Subaru, and he was also advocating for him to go save Amelia specifically. But, like, still, what is it? Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Just the same as usual, then. Exactly. Uh, but the thing is, like, everybody gotta be like this energy. You know what I mean? Like, like I, like the th the funny thing is that in a way, I agree with Al. That's like Subaru shouldn't have to handle this alone. But Al is saying Subaru step down, and I'm saying everybody else step up. That'd be more my my perspective on the matter, right? Whereas like Subaru's given the speech. The entire point though is to get everybody to fight, it, right? It's not that he's carrying the thing alone. He's his, the entire point was him saying like, everybody fight. They're the ones in the wrong. Rally, fight against the despair and shit. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and he, and it works, right? It absolutely works. Though he does also say something here like, I'll come. 
Leave the cultists to me and my allies. But it also is me and my allies. But like, that's the thing though, is it's a call to action. But he's also saying, don't get yourself killed. But look, please trust us and keep fighting too. Like fight in whatever way you can. That's kind of the, the message, right? Which is good, which is good, which is good, right? Because uh, Wrath, Wrath is literally like getting in everyone's hearts. So this is kind of the perfect move right now. Then leave the rest to me. So it is a little bit like taking the burden all on for himself, but it's like everybody fight to the best of your ability, right? So it's raising everybody up. And I approve of this message. I approve of Subaru's message. My favorite part of that though, my favorite part of the whole broadcast thing was Amelia and the wife. Because it really is like the line about like a stranger you just met a few hours ago. It really is like that, right? Where it's like, he's saying like fight against the despair. And that's exactly what the wife needs to hear right now. So I feel like it's, it's gotta work, you know? I was never alone, goaded. Yeah, um, though the worry, my worry. So this is cool. Good speech, Subaru. Good speech, right? Round of applause for Subaru. Um, you know, really spent the first half saying, I'm a loser, I'm a freak, I'm a creep. Um, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo. That's literally how he started it. Um, but he came through in the end. He's saying, but we're all freaks, we're all weirdos, you know? Uh, so it, 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 it comes full circle. I also wanted to, to frame by frame or like go across each of these to get a status update. Oh, this is, oh, this is Heinz Ketchup. Okay, Heinz Ketchup has broken out of containment. Um, that's kind of a, a problematic situation. Um, Heinz Ketchup. I've, I literally only know him as Heinkel, there it is. Yeah, Heinkel has broken out of containment, it seems. Uh, but also, I don't care. Thoughts? Heinkel, literally, his only thing he's really done is get in the way of Reinhard, who need, who has, like, so many better things to be doing with his time. That's pretty much Heinkel's entire thing. So, hopefully he just doesn't do that again. Like, go, you can go meet up with Priscilla or something, right? Like... I don't know, because that's that's kind of your situation. But Priscilla's kind of on our side. So like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, I think the most important other thing to like think about um, in this episode is why did the archbishops let this happen, right? Um, because they did. Like, like I, I think it would have been, if it would have been really funny if Capella just flew down in dragon form and then just like smashed Subaru or like, like, you know, hurt him and then screamed into the mic like, LMAO imagine, and then hung up, right? That would have been really funny and really good for demoralizing everybody. Imagine if the end of the speech was like, leave it to me and my allies. And then you just hear a bunch of screaming over the mic and then you hear Priscilla going like, duh. And then it just ends like footage is over. You know, that would be really funny uh, and really demoralizing. So, and I think that she kind of could have well, maybe not entirely, because uh, they did kind of have a squad in that building, especially with Reinhard walking in. So that would have been risky for her to do. But I mean, if they they could have somewhat coordinated to to, to figure something like that, like that out, right? Um, so there's kind of a question of, and 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 that's even attached to the earlier question of why did they leave the Metia? They could have destroyed the Metia, so why did they leave it? Um, which is what they're talking about right here. And then also like, why was the flood? Why did the flooding happen? The flooding even helped us escape, but then the gate immediately closed after. So there is somebody that's trying to help us that is part of the witch's cult. It's not Al, because Al was just coincidence Andy, which kind of annoys me, but it is what it is. It's just, what's crazy to me about that, I already said it, but I'll say it again, is that literally, if all of the Metias are on the same channel, because it, he didn't pick up the one Capella picked up, because he picked his up off of a bunch of random witch cult members, right? That's different than the one Capella had almost surely. Because I assume the one she has, she is holding on to, right? Um, and she wouldn't just like have a conversation, give it to a witch cult guy. The guy walks like one minute away and then they all get killed. That That's insane, right? So surely they're all connected to each other. In which case, Amelia and Al, who are on the same side, use the enemy's information network in the one moment that none of the enemies are using it. 
that's kind of crazy, you know? I don't know how many of these phones they got, but like surely there's a couple of them. So I don't know. I just think that's, that's, that's a little bit crazy to me, but I won't, there's not really much else to say on that. Cause that just kind of seems to be what happened there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the question now is who opened the gate? I don't know, bro. I have zero idea. It's, I mean, there's something in the witch cult that is helping us because they're not destroying the Metia and they're not, and they fled the city to help us. Um, the thing is Capella though, Capella could have destroyed the Metia and she didn't. So it's gotta be something, but why would you ever want that? Why would you ever want there to be a semblance of hope? I mean, maybe it almost feels like a season two situation again with Roswell, where it's like, because with Roswell, it was, it was all kind of to get Subaru to act certain ways because of like Subaru is kind of the most important person because of Return by Death. So I wouldn't be so like, maybe there's a world that the flooding happened as part of a plan in order to give Subaru like a chance to escape so that he wouldn't just die in the moment. And like something like that, like that, that's like the only thing I can think of is that there is some force that wants things to go a certain way for Subaru, you know, um, for whatever reason. So maybe that's like, so that he has dragon blood in him. Maybe that's important. I don't know why that would be. Um, or maybe that's just like, so that he has a certain level of hope because if he didn't have enough hope in the situation, then he would like not act as heroic, you know? And maybe there's like, they want him to have a certain mentality, but I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like what, you know, it seems, it just seems counterintuitive to what the witch cult has declared that they want, which is artificial spirit, tomes of wisdom. Um, and then the corpse of Typhon, it's Typhon, right? Uh, wait, no. yeah, Typhon. So I don't know. I really, I really thought it was all Al, but it's just not Al because it wasn't. So I don't know. I mean, it could have made, there's still like a micro possibility that it was cause he didn't, he just didn't say anything about it. And I don't know why he wouldn't, but I don't really know what's going on in his head right now. Cause he just seems to be like doom pilled. He's just like black pilled doom speaking, you know, and saying like, guys just give up and like cut your losses. So I don't really know what's going on with him right now. You know what I mean? Like, can we lock in a little bit? Reinhardt just entered the building. Can we lock in just 5%? Otto just entered the building. Can we lock in like 5%, you know? Ricardo just entered the building. <laughs> uh, so it's it's one of those situations. I don't know. I we okay. I I just I gotta write that down for Al. I think that he's he's <laughs> my notes for him is currently witch cult raw. Now it's doomer, doomer raw plus no arm. It's the, the really funny thing is it's almost guaranteed that in like season one, I commented on him having no arm and then I just have forgotten about it. You know what I mean? One arm Andy. There we go. That'll make me feel better. But yeah, okay. Go to the, go to the speech from Subaru. No idea what, what the, uh, I think there's a third party. I don't know what they are. Um, and the only thing I could assume they want now is for su something to do with Subaru um, because I don't know what else they could want, right? Uh, like, why would you want it to be a more balanced fight between the witch cult and the squad? You know, why, why are you trying to give the squad like an out, you know? So who's really to say, I mean, it could, be, I could just say Satela and call it good, but I don't know. It, it's just a tough situation. Uh, cause there's just so many characters in this freaking show, man. And most of them are in the city right now, but most of them are kind of doing things so it's like, who that, who is not, who's the one person that's not, that is messing with the thing, man. That's just where I'm at. Honestly, though, I think that's kind of all I got. This was kind of a, a one note episode, but it, which is totally fine though. It, like, and what I mean by that is that it was the speech episode, right? So they had one kind of goal with this episode, um, but it was a goaded speech. So shout out Subaru for that. On to the next, should be exciting. We've kind of got the squad rallied. So I'm excited to see what we do. Finally, we've got Reinhardt's Von Asteria booty up in the building because I've been tired of him just standing in a stalemate with Heinz ketchup for 10 years while everybody's dying and the city's getting flooded. So thank you. And finally, Reinhard, let's go make some moves. All right, just go jump Regulus. Can you just go kill Regulus? I'd be fine with that personally, you know, but we have to do like a coordinated attack so that they don't flood the city. He can just go solo one of the towers. We'll send Reinhardt to go solo a tower and, up, and at the same time, the rest of us will go solo another tower. Also remember Sirius, why so serious is still fighting 
the two the two of the three triplets. So that could still be a problem. We gotta remember that that's going on. But yeah. On to the next should be exciting episode eight. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah blah blah. Comment below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me other Rezero fans there. But until then, until the next episode, that's God. Good night. I will be seeing you then. Peace.